We are back. Thanks for staying with us. You know, every Tuesday we have our parenting segment. And this morning with us is Uncle Sele. He's been doing this with us, of course, in uh, the whole of April, right? Yeah. Yes, and uh, Uncle Sele is a champion of values, education, and empowerment. He's very dedicated to shaping the hearts and minds of the next generation. Uh, always stands as a, as a beacon of hope a tireless advocate for human values, empowerment, and sustenance. And today, he is calling out the parents. He say it's about you, not your child. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing today? I'm well, I'm good. I called you out, right? Yes, because you're calling us out now. Uh, you'll be calling every time. Maybe. But anyways, um, yes, before the conversation, before, you know, um, the segment, we talked about um, the focus on the parents yeah. and not the child. child yes. But first off, I would like you to establish why the focus should be on the parents. And not oh, the child. Okay, so you bring someone, a baby to this world yeah. and the baby comes with nothing. So whose responsibility is it to transfer and build and train that child? Yeah. Who is going to instruct? Who is going to teach? You understand? Who is that child seeing to learn from? Mm. Who? Daddy, okay. mommy. Okay. You understand? So now the question is, who is daddy? Who is mommy? How are we? You know, you, what, 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 you know, how do you behave? What's your character like? You know, in your mind, who do you want to raise? Do you want to raise a king? Do you want to raise a queen? Or just leave it, you know, to chance. So the, so the thing is, it is really about daddy and mommy. Who is transferring something to the son or the daughter and not the daughter <laughs> as in the way you're looking at me as in like you're trying to like i'm trying no i'm selling no but it's no, the no, truth no. i agree with you right i'm not disputing the role of the parents as guidance okay. as you know gateway the yeah. gatekeepers the influencers, the influencers the, pro the programmers you know yes. the programmers everything we are pro probably the world that revolves around this child okay, you know to keep yes. them safe and protect them yes. Um, a few weeks ago, there was a conversation on Twitter where the focus was on um, the parents. Okay. You know, um, so a child did something wrong, and they, the attack on the parents, or oh, the uh, so the attack, the, uh, sorry, the parents uh, rebuked the child, and people were attacking the parents. That's why we have a lot of abused children, uh, abused adults. That's why trauma response, trauma this, trauma that, and I'm like, hmm. So, so, can you guys like pause for a minute okay. and realize that I know as children grow, they are developing, yes. you know, their cognitive development is happening yes. and at different paces and different, yeah, different paces. But I would like to believe that sometimes let the responsibility also so fall on, on the, the child. child. As in that, that, at that point where you know that you, you, you're old enough to make certain decisions decision. okay. based on your upbringing, based on the years that your parents... You just said something now. Based on what? The upbringing. <laughs> <laughs> so you see, you're still, you're, still, you're still going back. Yeah. Because okay. the, truth, the truth is, you don't stop. And even when your child is a teenager, you know, I, I said something one time about time being the currency for children. Mm -hmm. So how much time do you spend with your children? Yeah. How much time do you talk to? You know, what do you then, you know, how do you use that time? How is that time quality? You understand? You get home late, you know, but you say, okay, I'm tired. I can't talk to my kids. But your children want to just say something to you. So, yeah. That teenager, you know, wants to talk to someone. You know, there was a case I, was, I handled, you know, recently about, you know, a teenager who, you know, started changing. I told the, the mother, have a conversation with him. Something has happened in mm. school. And she did. It was friends. Mm. Do you understand? But the question is, what if she couldn't talk to him? Mm. What if he couldn't say anything to, to her. her? Do you understand? So you yeah. see that she, he still came back to mm. the parent. Okay. So, you know, I always say something. You know, there's this thing with the love. There's this thing with, um, you know, as Christians, we call it grace, mm. where your child can always come back to you. Mm. You know, so when they make Like the prodigal son. Exactly. Do we have that in, in, in our homes? Mm. Then do we have, you know, where you spend time with your children? Do we have, you know, times where, um, you know, you advocate for your children? I'm you smiling because <laughs> I did something to my little one yesterday. It's about you. So, yes. <laughs> so, 
I, it was a punishment. I, I was show, so usually they like they they always love me to bathe them when okay. I'm at home, right? And so they were these. She was they were both coloring, okay. and then I said, okay, guys, it's time to bathe bathrooms. And the first one went into the bathroom. And then it's, both of them actually went to the bathroom. Okay. And then the second was like, okay, mommy, I need to go get something. So she went out and then she went back to the room to color. Oh. You know, she went back to her book and she was coloring. And so when I was done with the first one, I waited. She wasn't in the bathroom yet. And then I went and I saw her in the room. And I said, Eliana, what are you doing? So she jumped in and said, mommy, I'm sorry. I said, okay, you know what? So go to meet one of the girls to bathe. She, so she started apologizing. Now, I was conflicted. I said, should I punish her or should I forgive her? Because there are two things I want her to learn here. Okay. Forgiveness okay. and responsibility. 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 That there are consequences for your actions. For your actions. Yes. But I'm like, mm, after thought and forgiveness, <laughs> let her, let her. Let her face the let consequences. Her consequences. This face. time, yes, so I was adamant. It was hard for me, but I said, no, I'm not going to shake. You know, there are times, there are yeah. times that you stand and you know make sure your your child you know uh, face the consequences of their actions because yeah. it's very it's very very important. Necessary. Yeah, it's very important that they understand that look for everything that you do, you know their actions and their consequences because if you don't teach them, that's why I said it always gets back to the parents because if you don't teach these things. They will always try you. They will try their test boundaries. Yeah. Oh, can I do this? Oh, am I free to do this? Mm. But you see, when there are no structures at home, mm -hmm. who is setting the structures? Mm. Mm. Daddy and mommy. You, do, you know, a child grows up like that, understanding that, no, I, I can do anything. Yeah. So I do anything at home. When I go outside, that's what I do. Mm. You understand? So I, I, I always say something. Our society is, is, is you know, I call it the agile of parenting. When you go outside, you are seeing the agile of parenting outside. What you, you have contributed what I have contributed to our children, mm. to your children, and what we also did not contribute. Contribute. You I see agree. it, and you find out that the society is, oh, I met this person. That's why you see that, you know, I always ask this question. I still ask this question to, to teenagers on Friday. Is it easy to make the right decision? 99% of them said no. Because that's what they see. Mm. It's hard. They know this thing is right, but you see, they see too many people, you know, are doing, this doing the wrong thing. Yeah. So they, they ask themselves, is this I, right or wrong? Am I going to be the. So that they, they think they are the abnormal person mm -hmm. or people mm -hmm. because everybody is doing the wrong mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. And you know, it's, 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 it's a problem yeah. that, is, that is growing. Uh, we have to go quickly, but there's something I really needed to touch on, and that is the ability for a parent to separate their emotions sometimes from their parents, from, from the children, from the, oh, so that they are okay. not projecting some of what they are going through to our children. That is, um, it, it, it was one of the things, it was it one of the factors or one of the things that our parents were not, did not have the ability have, to yes, do. Yes. We're not able to separate. So quickly, with all the chaos happening in the world, you come home, you're, you know, with, you're still dealing and reeling. How are you able to separate your emotions from, you know, projecting? Who are you raising? Are you raising a king or a queen? Hmm. How do you think you should raise that boy to be a king? Then transfer those things. Transfer the instructions, transfer the teaching. Tell him he's a king. Raise him to be a king. Raise her to be a queen. When you start, you teach from the way you look, the way you dress, the way you speak, the way you relate with people. Do you understand? And you keep reminding them, you're a queen. This is how queens behave. Hmm. You're a king. Kings don't okay. hit women. Mm. Kings don't speak and mm. you, you don't use those kind of words. Mm. You read. Kings study. Mm. You understand? Your child grows up with that consciousness. So I used to be this way, mm. but it stops or ends with me. Mm. I am going to raise a different a child. Oh. I'm going to raise a king. I'm going mm. to raise a queen. So that's why even you, you're thinking, should I do this or should I not? Oh. But you're saying that as a queen, you must know that there are consequences. So at the end of the day, the consciousness starts with you, you. the parent. So that's why it's always about mm, us. us. Because if you take what we learned, yeah. trust me, every parent will be carrying pain because that's how we were. It's, uh, you, you did that. But you yeah, see something. Yeah. In this time and season, it doesn't work that way. Thank you so much, Uncle Sele. It's been an interesting month, you, you know, so learning with you on this ever-running journey of 
parenting besides my thank producer you, says he's so a much. big fan he's thank a huge so fan and uh, we hope that we've learned so much and just as uh, uncle Sele is a messenger of hope hope and peace and love we can also <laughs> be we can also you know spread that message as well thank you so much and that's it on parenting for now remember uh, to bear in mind the consciousness that you are a queen and you are a king and transfer that same legacy to your children we're going to quick break now the show continues shortly guys stay with us